Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. You may recall that I checked out the Dragon Quest Builders 2 Jumbo Demo a little while ago, uh, with a surprisingly long video, because this demo is much bigger than I expected. They weren't kidding about it being a Jumbo Demo. <laughs> um, and I adored this game. Uh, so, I haven't actually bought it yet, but I've been playing the demo, like, more. I've put, like, six hours into it, and it's, it's great. Anyway, um, one of my cute viewers, you know who you are, cutie, uh, suggested that I check out this game as well, Dragon Quest XIS. I don't know why they spelt, spelt 6 backwards, but yeah, Dragon Quest 6. I'm kidding, it's Dragon Quest 11. Anyway, uh, yeah, apparently this game's more a traditional sort of JRPG kind of title. Um, I've never played a Dragon Quest game before besides this demo here, so... I don't really know what to expect, but I love Octopath Traveler and Chrono Trigger and, uh, those are the main JRPGs that I really love. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know anything about this one, so let's have a look. Haven't launched the demo at all before, so this is my first look. I don't know how big this demo is, uh, I don't want to make too long a video, so, um, because it's late and I need to go to bed at some point. You can probably see the time somewhere on the screen. If I prop this up. Yeah, it's late. <laughs> okay, Square Enix presents. Uh, we got a we got a slime, we got uh, someone walking through the forest. We got a Faroa. Tokyo Metropolitan Symphony Orchestra. Okay. Um, we got a tree. Um. I don't really have any context to understand anything that's happening right now. Oh, I think that's that character from Smash. Okay, so I guess that's the hero from this game. Okay, so we're getting credits and stuff. Um, it's interesting how you've got there. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know any of these characters. I do recognize that one from Smash, but I don't really know anything about them, so. I prefer to maybe get into some gameplay rather than these credits that don't tell me anything about the game, really. Or at least, you know, like a story cutscene that has an actual dialogue rather than just showing stuff happening. He's a dragon now? Okay. Cool. Let's <laughs> uh, venture forth. You guys streaming distribution? Um... Well, I'm not, I'm not actually streaming, I'm recording, so I guess that's, that's okay? I don't know. Um... Probably fine. I'm not even in a commercial context anyway. Which slot would you like to use? Okay, so you get three slots. No, you get lots of slots. You get nine slots. It's pretty impressive. Uh, I guess I'll put my name in. Again with these alphabetical keyboards, I don't understand why they do this. Like, they know that keyboards aren't alphabetical, right? <laughs> I don't know what a draconian quest is. Maybe it's like a DLC thing. Oh, okay. Interesting. 
So this is kind of like um, kind of like a net hack, net hack sort of conduct, conduct thing. You can. Oh, I have that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I guess I'll leave that in the defaults. Uh, yep, that's my name. Oh, that's cute. You can play it with like pixel art. Or you can play it with the 3D mode. Oh, wow. I guess I'll play 3D mode because it's the only one that works in the demo. Um, very system settings. Language I'd like the characters' voices to be in. I guess English? Uh, that looks right. That looks right. Um, defaults are fine. This isn't a great brightness screen because it's only showing, like, one situation. Should have a couple of different scenes to give me an idea of whether it's bright enough or dark enough, but I'll leave it on defaults. Cool. Um... Alright, so... I guess the game's actually starting now. There's a little ghosty thing or something? Wandering around in a town. There's some kids trying to kill each other. Um, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> um, someone's dancing in the town square. They look pretty cute. Oh, ghost angry. I don't know if they're like a, a protector spirit or something, or like a villain, or... Oh no, rain! Does that mean there's a great evil over the land, or is it just regular rain? Because rain can just happen, you know? Okay, we've got a bunch of old dudes. I mean, presumably old dudes. It looks like an oligarchy. There's the mark. Who are they talking about? There's no mistaking it. I guess that child? I don't know if that character, who that is. We'll see. I assume that's that's the kid's mother, probably. Whomever they are, they look like Princess Zelda. That's cool. Oh no, dragons! This looks bad. Oh no! Okay, yeah, this reminds me a lot of various Zelda plots. So that's creepy. Um, this also reminds me of Lord of the Wings, so it's probably your biggest reason. Also, Delta Horror Quest. <laughs> A lot of things, really. Okay, um, well the rain stopped. Is that a good thing? It, it looks kind of serene and happy, so maybe. Oh, there's a baby. Floaty baby. Sad baby. Um, extremely moustache fellow here. What in heavens are find you baby. doing here? And after that awful storm, too. However did you survive? However, however as in however did you survive, one. it should be two words. Six. Oh, you poor thing. So I'm going to have to play as that kid because they already said he. There's no need to be then again, maybe the kid's just trans. You're that would be kind of cool. Now, little fellow.
Okay, so are all my family dead if I'm playing as that kid? Because it looks like the headless horseman or whatever kill, kills, killed everyone several years later. More cutscenes? Good lord. Do I get to play the game at some point? Okay, I assume that's the same kid because the mark is there. And that's the character from Smash, so I guess that's the player character? Kinda of disappointed I can't customize them and, you know, like I did in the Builders game where it could let me Thanks pick one of- so much, you're a lifesaver. Oh, you're very English. Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. Oh, Scottish, sorry. <laughs> wow, you're cute. <sighs> I don't know who you are, but you're cute. So it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're going to be climbing all the way up there. Hmm? Well, I chose English, not Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Sandy's keen to lead the way. You... Come on, best not keep her waiting. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'm playing as that hero there. Yeah, this is my character. Uh, I can jump with the B button. I can open a map with the Y button, like it says on the screen. Uh, X gives me this little menu. Uh, lots of stuff in there. Okay, so that character is me. Like, their name is Danielle. Oh, it says boy, what the hell? I'm not impressed with that. Because it didn't tell me my character was supposed to be a dude. It just asked for a name. Maybe I can customize that? Maybe maybe you can actually just say, hey, I'm not, not a boy. Like in real life. That'd be cool. Uh, pressing L and R spins the camera around, apparently. Or turns me, anyway. Uh, ZL, uh, ZR makes you run forward if you press it. ZL does nothing. Uh... It looks like there's like a camera mode if you press up on the D-pad. The other directions on the D-pad do nothing. Uh, you can move the camera around with the right stick or center it behind yourself by clicking it. The, click, the left stick you can click to enable auto run. Same sort of thing except it toggles instead of... Yeah, it's the same as pressing ZR except it toggles rather than being when you hold the button down. Okay, um, so yeah, I'm... I'm so far, not impressed with the fact that it asked for my name and then just decided my character was a dude instead of giving me any options or, you know, warning me that it's going to require the character to be a certain gender. But if you can change that later by going to, like, a gender identity clinic, that would be the coolest thing ever. So let's see how we go. Uh, let's follow this dog here. I think we're supposed to go this way. Music's pretty good. Visuals look nice as well. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? I have no idea. My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on cobblestone tour, you see. All right. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. Cool. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. What if I take a tumble and do myself a mischief? I like you, you're really cute. Well, not to worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Okay, we were born on the same day, and... How do we know that? Like, how do we know when I was born, given that I was abandoned, like, not abandoned, I was, I was, you know, orphaned, basically. Did a little card in Come there say then. what my birthday was? That craggy old thing won't climb its... Oh! Oh! 
Oh no, slimes! I know those. Those are in buildings. Ah, monsters! They're called slimes. They're coming this way. Come on, Gemma. See? A group of slimes draws near. Watch out! Okay, so I have a little menu in the corner here. Uh, I feel like that's the problem. Uh, I guess I'll go fight, and I'll attack one of the slimes. Get him! Oh, crikey! Oh, that's not good. Oh, my doggy will help. Thank you, doggo. Go on! You can do it! Gemma, do you want to help? Oh, that does help. Thank you, Gemma. Crumbs! Crumbs! God, she's cute. Okay, so yeah, it's fairly typical turn-based combat by the looks of things. Although I like the voices. Yay, experience! What the heck? Where did that come from? <laughs> It was a medicinal herb in it, apparently. Cool. Crikey! I wasn't expecting that! Crikey! Oh, I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. And now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just our luck. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. Well, as long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Come on, let's get going. God, she's cute. They're cute? I haven't, I haven't had any pronouns for Gemma yet, but I assume she, based on the fact that the game decided I was a dude without asking. I was obnoxious. Anyway. Okay, so we're in the cave now. It's not very dingy, it's actually quite bright and it looks awesome actually, it's really pretty. Uh, okay, this looks a bit dangerous. Okay, so I'm automatically doing that. Uh, I didn't have to press anything special, I'm just moving the stick forward and just making me carefully walk across. Cool. Okay, I can see a slime. Uh, something going on over here, but I don't know what. Oh, I see, I can press the button to climb up. What's up here? Anything of interest? Something sparkling. Medicinal herb, yay! I love medicinal herbs. They're my favorite type of herb. Um, I can't go down there, which is kind of weird. It looks like there's another platform down there, but I can't get to it. Like, there's like a wall there. Weird. Anyway, um, I guess we'll head back this way now. Um. Sneak up and try to surprise them. Okay, Gemma. Okay. Cool. That's handy. I like being able to do preemptive strikes. Get him! It's a good thing in a video game, in my humble onion. God, Go Gemma's cute. On. You can do it. Go on. Why don't you have a sword, Gemma? We should both have a sword. Fight, fight, and fight some more. Get him. <laughs> Use. Why are the slimes keeping those treasure chests? Oops, I didn't actually hit that one before I ran into it. Eh, doesn't matter. Oh, I see. You can customize it so that different party members act in different ways. But I only have me so far. Sandy doesn't count for some reason. Probably because they're a dog. Fight some more! Get him! Tough 
tough little blighters, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you, Gemma. Learned the spell Frizz. If you see someone and you want to totally mess up their hair, you can cast Frizz. <laughs> any spells. Oh, I only have battle spells. Okay. Can I look at them? Spells. Singes a single enemy with a small fireball. Okay. Cool. Woof. Woof woof. I know that the hero has some different, like, alternate costumes in Smash. I don't know if those are from this game or if they're like the heroes from other Dragon Quest games. Kinda hoping that it means you can customize this one, make them look a bit different, but it might not. I don't know. Phew. Another enemy? Can't tell. I think the slimes appears. Crikey! Go on! You can do it! Mama doesn't help. She was giving me a herb earlier, but maybe I just haven't taken enough damage to get another one. I don't know. Okay, sad thing is an enemy. Needlers. Okay. I'm unfamiliar with these guys. I haven't seen them in this game. They can use additional herbs. That's a little scary. Fight, fight, and fight some more. Get him! They can keep using additional herbs. It's a bit rude. Go on, you can do it. Go on. Fight, fight, and fight some more. Get him! Critical hit. <laughs> cool. I wonder if you ever see different enemies in the same battle, because it's talking like a group of a group of this enemy appears and then saying this enemy is defeated and all that. I guess this is a side path. Maybe there's some treasure or something down here. There's some water. I can break these pots. You just press the button once and you pick it up and smash it, which is interesting. <laughs> um... Woof, woof, woof. I agree. It'd be kind of hilarious if the demo was the entire game except we can't play in the 2D mode. That would be an interesting limitation. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not bothering with my magic because it only attacks one enemy anyway, and my sword seems to do enough damage. A little dance, huh? It didn't do anything as far as I can tell. That was easy. Well, Gemma, you could, you could contribute. That'd be great. It's Why don't you have a sword, all. Gemma? It's more monsters. All right. Some smogs drawn here. Of course Watch they do. Out. 
Let's try fireball and see if that helps. Yeah, Seems like a good idea. Without having a dog bark at them still paralyzes them with fear, that's pretty handy. Oh no, they're dodging so much. Crumbs! Go on! You can do it! It looks like you probably can't die here because Gemma just keeps giving you herbs, which is handy. Get him! Okay. Go on! You can do it! I sure can. Go on! Here you go. Oh, she restores MP as well. Neat. Thanks, Gemma. The smogs are defeated. 40 experience. Well That's pretty good. Done. <laughs> Dang. It's like 10 times as good as the previous stuff. I, I'm sorry, Gemma. I only came up here because I thought it'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. But then those monsters appeared. What in the world is going on? I never heard anything about monsters appearing on the tour before. Something bad is happening, Never I guess. Mind that now. Whatever were you thinking? You could have been killed. You take Sandy and get back to the no, village. Don't take this Sandy. Instant. She's helping in the battle. I don't. Don't take Sandy. Y yes, Gemma. Sorry, Gemma. I need her. <laughs> you saved my, oh my bacon God. again. <laughs> I knew you were tough, but crikey. You really have grown into quite the hero. Hero, the hero. Like, you've got that accent, you should be dropping the H's. Not far to the top now. That's a really low res ground that we were looking at. <laughs> it would have to go and start raining, wouldn't it? Come on, let's get a move on. Is it another cursed storm, like the one that. Uh, my family died in, or...? <laughs> okay, so we gotta climb the vines. Yeah, I just wanna make sure I don't miss anything. Yep, there's something over here. What is it? A piece of pink pine. I don't know if that's useful, but I found it. So that's cool. Vine climbing, let's go. Okay, so, yeah, you can go up and down with the uh, left stick, and it's pretty simple. It's kind of slow, too. I don't think I can speed it up, which is annoying. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. This is just happening, like, automatically as I push the stick that direction. of these ledges to climb up. We did this already, so we don't need to read the sign telling you how to do it. Cool. Path to summit. Path to summit is where we are. Here we are at last. Yep. It seems very it's easy to climb up here. Weather. I was really looking forward to that for you. Like, if there, there there normally aren't any monsters here, so why did Gemma think I needed to be here to protect her? Well, we better say the pair and get this ceremony over with, eh? What what was that? Dragons. Right, dragons? <laughs> oh no, it's a bird.
Oh. Oh, my mark is doing something. Uh. Oh. That was cool. Did I just learn a new spell, or what just happened? We're alive. But how? That that great big flash of lightning. It was almost like you made it happen. Yellow now. Oh, huh? never mind. Oh, it stopped. Well, we can worry about that later. All I know is that you saved me yet again. I don't know what I'd do without you. Okay. <laughs> no, we really had better be finishing up this ceremony. Humble folk of cobblestone. Great land spirits, hearth and home. Lift your voices oh, up in prayer. Oh, this is the thing you were saying earlier. Sing it across all our drear. Blessed are we since days of yore. Let it be so forevermore. Did the prayer actually make the clouds go away? Is it like a, a real <gasps> magical incantation? Wow. That's pretty cool. No. just goes on and on and on. Whoever dreamed up this ceremony must have had this in mind. They wanted to show us how huge our world really is. Makes sense. <laughs> well, that's it. It's all over and now we're grown-ups. Should we head down and tell Grandad and everyone? Yeah, probably. They'll all be waiting for us at the bottom. Just jump off. <laughs> well, <I mean. laughs> we sure do. We did it. We're back safe and sound, Grandad. Indeed you are, my dear. Thank the spirits for that. Yep. When we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> oh, so I can talk? Okay, I thought my character was mute. Oh, well, I never. Sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece. Yeah, I guess so. Well, there's no doubt about it. The spirit of the land was watching over you. Okay. I mean, I, I think I used some sort of weird magic to, to protect now, this. Now tell me, my dear. How was the view from the top? Pretty good. <sighs> it was wonderful. I saw the sea stretch into the horizon. And the sunlight playing on the water, and... Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. Did you say so? I am still young. And the day may yet come when you decide to leave cobblestone behind. I hope our little ceremony has opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. Now, it's high time we were heading back. 
I'm sure your mother is eager to hear how things went, young man. Don't keep poor Amber in suspense. Yeah. Come on. Come on, you. Home time. Okay, pink speech bubbles. Understood. This music is really good, I gotta say, it's nice. Which would be why they made it illegal to make videos that just share the music, I guess. Okay. Man of Cobblestone. God. Really? Really? <sighs> This is so obnoxious. Why did they do this? Mm. I suppose I should have spoken to that pink speech bubble person. Okay, I'll go home. I don't know where I live, so... I guess I'll look this pink speech bubble person in the beginning and figure it out. Oh, hey Sandy! I guess I live over here where you are. I assume you're my dog. Can I pat the dog? Woof woof. No. Rude. That's disappointing. Oh, hang on. What's over there? Can I... Can I jump over there? I'm not quiet. Oh, I climb up the back here. Okay. I assume pink pine is good for some reason. There's been a couple of pieces of it that have been hidden, but I don't know what it does. So let's go this way, I guess. There's some horses just sort of hanging out in the middle of the road. It's kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, let's talk to this pink person. Hello. I have, yeah. Where do I live? Follow the paving stones. Alright. So the paving stones go directly to my house, not to anyone else's? If you say so. It's kind of weird that none of these other paths are paved, just the one that goes to my house. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I figured it was going this general direction. Okay, so it is this house. That makes sense. Oh! Here's my little soldier. Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big. I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. Hey. God's. <sighs> Why did you ask for a name if you're gonna do this? Of course not. It's 2019. I mean, I think this game is actually from 2017 and then they re-released or something, but... Quite the opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. Shut up, Gemma. He got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster! I get that these are all pre-recorded lines of dialogue, and you have to use a what pronoun, did you say? but... It could have easily been they. They could that have just not, funny little mark. not used gendered Lightning's pronouns about and the place. stuff. And, uh. Goodness me. And I could have made it not say Here I was hoping he'd turn out nice and man ordinary. or whatever. It's obnoxious. It seems his grandfather was right all along. <sighs> whatever. Anyway. Well, we've been putting this off for long enough now. You and me need to have a little talk. Here. This belongs to you. Oh, cool. A little pendant. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. Thank you. 
The truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. It's... how can I put this now? Um... Well, he said you're... You're the reincarnation of the Luminary! I don't know what that means. What? Oh, don't ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know yeah, is I didn't that your know grandfather either. said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do. All right. He said that when you came of age, you were to head north to the capital, up there in Heliodor, and show that necklace thingy to the king. He okay. seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. Anyway... The long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. Okay. Crikey. <laughs> well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. Okay. <laughs> Why did you ask for my name if you were going to do this? I don't like this. Like, the character design isn't even particularly masculine. Like, this this character... Like, that that is a very androgynous design. You could have just used they, them everywhere, and it would have worked fine. I mean, you could do that with any design, really. But, I mean, look at this character. That does not have to be a dude. <laughs> But, alas, game's bad. Uh, okay, I guess I have to have dinner before because it's still like nighttime or whatever. Do I have to, like, eat something or what do I do? Go to bed? No. Um, how do I progress? Let's go up this ladder, I suppose. Let's see what's up here. I probably should have actually read what that message that was using all the wrong pronouns was because I don't I don't know what it said and it might have been giving me a hint about what to do next. Um, I guess I'll try leaving the village and see if it'll let me. I think the exit was at the north end. Yeah, past this guy. Hello. Okay, I don't, ha I don't have a sword with me, so I guess that makes sense. Um, I'll talk to my not-mother, I guess. I mean, she's my mother. It's, it's an adoption. But... What the hell's a luminary? <sighs> I guess I'll talk to you and that'll let me progress? That's what I did. Didn't really do anything. It's interesting that it's so light when you're inside, and then you go outside and it gets darker. Even though you're looking at the same place. Like, you would have thought it'd be sorted the other way around, because the inside of the house is lit. Which means you'd have your eyes adjusted to more light, and it would look darker out here. But it doesn't do that, because this game is a bit weird. <laughs> also, freaking pronouns. God. I'm so frustrated. Um, oh, I need to talk to... Is that Gemma? Yeah, hey Gemma. Oh, can't sleep either, eh? Yeah. You remember this tree, don't you? Yeah, it's a tree. I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. Oh, it's there that one. I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. Yep, <laughs> I remember. Some things never change, eh? Actually, I don't yeah. remember that. We'll I always that. imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you... <sighs> oh. Tilting the stick actually <laughs> skips ahead. You don't have to press a button. That's weird. I remember the story my granddad told me. 
Once upon a time, long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, the Luminary appeared and saved the day. It's a boring story, really. It's just, there's not much to it. <laughs> when it was all over, the Luminary turned into a star. And he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. <laughs> Freaking pronouns. That's his star, right God. there. I, I, do, I don't like this at all. I am enraged. I don't know if you can tell from my tone, How but... How can you oh be the Luminary God. too? I, I just don't get it. <sighs> I know. That's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. Like, I know, I know, I know I a lot of older games, really like, they'd ask for a name, but use the pronouns that the character already has anyway. Like, um, Link to the Past worked Listen. that way. We should both be but going back. that's a much, much Everyone older game, and this one is very to. recent, and it should be doing this better. And it doesn't seem to be, and I'm frustrated. Goodbye, old friend. <laughs> Jamie, you can come with me. I don't, like, seriously. Why did you ask for my name if you were going to do that? It, like, it didn't even tell me that the character was going to be a dude. Or, you know, to use he, him, anyway. Maybe they're non-binary. Or he's non-binary. Pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a different outfit on now. It's purple. Well, just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, dead? you know. Only wish your grandfather were here to see you. You won't forget him, will you? He was a fine, upstanding man, the pride of the village. Is he dead? You could do worse than try to be like him. Sounds like he might be. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll That's find sad. a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Oh, by the way, I've popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't spend it all at once. Why don't you visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodor? You'll okay. need some supplies for your big adventure. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. Good gravy. <laughs> I was just going to leave at night, but it didn't let me do that. Glad the load times are nice and short. Okay, so where's this shop? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Let me through horses. Are they blocking the whole path? They are. Oh my god. Let's look around. I guess that's the shop over there. I think this is the shop. What weapon do I already have? Um, my sword is better than a cypress stick, apparently. Uh, my current shield is worse than a pot lid, which I find questionable. Um, apparently I want to buy all of this stuff, by the looks of things. Okay, I still have 20 G left, so I didn't spend all of it. We're good. Um, okay, so my outfit didn't change visibly, so that's kind of weird. It, it does in, um, in Builders too. Like, that game, when you change your costume, it does actually visibly change. In this one, apparently it doesn't, which is weird. Like, yeah, you can see my bandana's not showing up or anything. Hmm... In a lot of respects, I'm unimpressed with this game compared to DQB build, DQB2, or whatever it was, so far. 
which is very sad. Hello. Like, I mean, yes, that game also only has binary genders, but it at least lets you pick one instead of making you pick a name and then telling you later on that the one name day doesn't... You're just a little boy, the next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. Shut up, shut up, shut up. To think, it's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating... <laughs> what do you mean? Since he brought you to Cobblestone. We never thought there was anything I think you should probably tell me what actually happened. And now suddenly there's all this talk of luminaries of all things. You know who the luminary was, of course. Yes. The legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. Yes, yes, I know. Gemma told me last night. <laughs> We're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalkney, of course. But it is a little hard to swallow, I must I say. I mean, I, I could be him reincarnated and, and not be a dude. Like, Cora is Aang reincarnated. Same deal. Oh, when you meet the King of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you, eh? <laughs> if he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us, <laughs> if you catch my drift. You are terrible. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. The way they render the eyes looks really weird. Like the woman who just person woman probably who just spoke. Look look at those eyes. That is weird. No, no, I'm only joking, of course. The very thought. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. No. The fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. Okay. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Okay. Take this map of Erdria with you. May it prove useful in finding your way. Must be a very small map if it's inside the palm of your hand. <laughs> This magnificent steed, the pride of cobblestone, oh, Epona. lighten your burden and speed I mean, no, you on your way. brown. This horse is just grey, but I'm gonna say it's Epona. You'll find Heliodor easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. Your nose? What does Heliodor smell like? <laughs> you travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy, such oh, a good boy. Shut up. You make us proud out there, won't you? And come back safe. I just, I, I can't stand it. It's, it's, it's so obnoxious. <laughs> there was no reason to say boy all these times instead of kid. Wait. Like, Take this with you. Thank you, I, Gemma. I made it for you. Gemma's charm. It'll keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? Oh, I don't know what's in store for you out there. But wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't... Don't forget us, will you? Okay. Take care, and remember, we'll be waiting for you. Okay, so I guess I'm done in Cobblestone now. Um, okay. Understood. Okay, so I have this horse here. Um, the controls are roughly the same as just moving around normally. Actually, yeah, they're pretty much exactly the same. ZR makes you go faster, same way. 
can't jump because B is dismount apparently, but otherwise it's basically the same. Uh, y button selects the map, X selects the menu, A doesn't do anything. Can I attack while I'm on my horse? Apparently not. A group of slimes appears! Fun be defeated, yeah! Strong enough to beat them in one hit now! about an hour of recording time, so I'll probably wrap up soon, but I'm just, it did not make a good first impression. Unlike the Builders game, I mean, actually the Builders game didn't make a huge, hugely good first impression either. Uh, the little tutorial part on the, like, enemy ship or whatever kind of sucked. But as soon as you get onto Isle of Awakening and start doing real things, it, it gets better. Whereas this game, I don't know. There's a campfire over here on the map, so I might have a look at it. Oh, someone's talking to me. Hello. Oh, what have we here? I know a budding adventurer when I see one. Like it can be risky heading into the great outdoors if you aren't familiar with the basics of survival, you know. Okay. Well, fear not, because that's where I come in. Hello. See the remains of that fire over there? Well, when you spy one of those, it means you can set up camp and rest your weary bones. Makes sense. To settle down for the night, just go up to the fire and examine it. You'll soon be enjoying a well-earned break. What's that? You're worried about being attacked by monsters while you sleep? Oh, ye of little faith. That statue over there is chock full of holy powers that'll keep the beasties at bay for as long as you need. And that's not all. You can pray to it to be cured of poison and all kinds of other okay. things. Anyway, enough of my yammering. Why don't you take a closer look at all this camping kit for yourself? Are you, you as tiny as you look? What campsites you look, look really like small. How to find them. After all, you'll be relying on them whenever you're out in the wilderness. It's like my old dad always said. Keen campers can continue on where others can't. Be prepared. Okay. Well, that's all from me. If you have any camping-related queries, feel free to ask. Okay. Okay. I want to see if you're really tiny. Yeah, yeah, really tiny. Look how small this guy is. Cute. Um, so I just do that? Okay, so I can go rest like this. Until dawn, I guess? I don't know if I have like a time limit or something. I guess that heals me up. Yeah, full health. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Uh, there should be a bell around here somewhere that I can use to get my horse back. Here we go. There we go. Makes sense. So I guess we'll go this way. <laughs> An antidotal herb. I guess that kills poison, probably. Hey, it's these guys with the hammers. I know you. Oh no, first strike. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I 
think I've been recording for about an hour. I think you've already, you already know how I feel about most of this, because I've been ranting a lot. Um, but yeah, I, I don't like the fact that it asks for your name, and then later on tells you that you're playing as a dude after that. Like, I had the same problem with um, Doki Doki Literature Club, but that's a completely different kind of game, and it actually acknowledges later on that it's that, that technically they don't know that your character's a dude, or that the player isn't a dude or something. Like, because that game is really meta. Um, but this one is just annoying. Well, Pink Pine, I don't know what that does. I can avoid enemies like in Chrono Trigger, that's cool. It's a good feature. I mean, here's the castle. I guess I'll play a little bit longer. I don't want to stay up too late though, as I mentioned. Yeah, I already noticed what sparkly spots do. They come back? Okay. Okay, so you can actually get more stuff from a sparkling spot. Interesting. <sighs> Alright, well, we're in Heliodor now, I guess. It'll, I remember this from the opening cutscene. Pretty sure this was the same place. Oh, one of the opening cutscenes. There's a lot, because it's one of those games. Okay, you're pink. What are you gonna say? The king, yeah. Okay. So does this have a real time, like, a time passing system like an Ocarina? I'm getting the impression that it does, because you can rest until dawn and stuff, and... Ocarina and also other Zelda games, I guess. Not just Ocarina. Um, I don't know how to know what time it is, I can't see any indication of that anywhere. Keep going to the castle for the time being. Going through the fountain, of course. Yeah, I have problems with this game. <sighs> Again, very unimpressed by the way it handles gender and your character name and all of that stuff. Uh, but also. I feel like it should show when you wear clothes. Like it's showing this 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 single model for the character. And like I mentioned, Builders 2 doesn't do that. It actually does show what clothes you're wearing. And I think that's way better. So I'm a little disappointed that this game doesn't work the same way. Halt! Not so fast. State your business. Well, I can't talk, so. <sighs> Pronouns. <laughs> Here, shake my hand, mate. That's the funniest one I've heard all week. Okay. Clear off, will ya? We haven't got time for this kind of nonsense. Can I shake your hand first? <laughs> no, I've got the got the pendant. Oh yeah. Ah. What's that? You want to show that pendant to the king? You say? Yeah. Ah. Do you mind waiting here a minute? Huh? Ever so sorry for that little misunderstanding. Please, go right on through. All right. His Majesty's waiting for you. how they call it a trusty steed all over the place instead of a horse. <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess I'll just keep going past this guy.
That will be quite close enough. Welcome to Heliodor Castle, friend. Well, I don't like you. You seem unpleasant. The jewel of Dundrasil. You are bold indeed to have made your way here alone, wanderer. It's pretty easy. I am Carnelian, ruler of Heliodor. Hi, Carnelian. How long have I waited for this day? And now, I guess finally, however old I am, we meet. Truly, it is an honor. The fact that you come here proffering the jewel I hear I'm like and asking to speak with me personally would suggest that you know something of your Since I like true did a coming of age ceremony at the start of the game. I took I'm probably it like that 18. You also bear the mark. Yeah. The mark of light. Then there is no doubt. You are he. Rejoice, dear subjects. The day is upon us at last. The luminary walks among us once more. <laughs> Tell me, O oh luminary. Where exactly is it that you hail from? I would so very much like to pay tribute to those who oh, took okay. you in so and raised you. You actually are going to do that. That wasn't just a joke. She. I see. Cobblestone, you say. Jasper, you know of this place? I do, my liege. A village of provincial nobodies deep in the rocky south. Something like a few minutes away then from I this take castle. It you know what to do. Do not disappoint me. Yes, my liege. <gasps> a cursed luminary. I know not what your intent was in coming here alone, but whatever um. your wicked scheme, know that it shall not succeed. Okay. Uh. That's not good. Hendrik, take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. Oh dear. Know this. The luminary Wait, what? Is the root of all evil I'm and confused. Will bring but Are they trying to, to pretend to Jasper that the and luminary is good? The reason is simple. Just as light is intertwined with like, darkness, why would Jasper care? so too is the luminary <laughs> intertwined with the dread lord of shadows. His coming heralds the resurrection of the Dark One. If that's so, then you probably don't want to lock me up because then I won't be able to stop the Dark One. Did you really think you could fool one as wise as His Majesty? It was your great misfortune doesn't make to confront any sense. one who knows your true nature. Man, seize this wretch! Like, I, I, I'm the Luminary. I'm, I'm the one who has to fight the Lord of Shadows. I'm not the Lord of Shadows, right? Uh, obviously? Doesn't make any sense. Also, are they gonna burn cobblestone to the ground or something? Because, I mean, that's the impression I get from the fact that cobblestone is where I'm from and they, they hate me for some reason that doesn't actually make sense if you think about it for more than a millisecond. <laughs> That would suck. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Like, well, the luminary is the hero that's supposed to fight this 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 villain. But if I'm here, the you villain is going to be here. Well, before the sun has set three times, we shall know the truth. It's like. It's like five minutes away. It doesn't it's not gonna take three days to go there. Or a day and a half, I guess, because you have to come back. By then, Jasper will have returned from his 
investigation. If I were you, Darkspawn, I would not expect to live beyond that day. <sighs> this doesn't make sense. This is nonsense. Hmm. This is a mess. Who said that? I'm breaking them because I might be stopping them, not because I think it might help me. Who are you? You cute? Will you keep it down in there? Most folks they throw in here have the decency to wait a while before going stir crazy. What are you in for, anyhow? You don't get free bed and board down here without having done something pretty bad. Wait, did you say the luminary? Yeah. You're serious? Yeah, I'm the luminary, and for some reason that means I have to be imprisoned. Even though my coming means that the, the, the bad guy is actually going to be here anyway, and it'd be helpful to have a hero available to <sighs> stop that. You're telling me the luminary has just shown up in the cell next to me. Game does not make sense. This is crazy. And it keeps saying he him all the time, and I hate it. One plate of delicious gruel for the gentleman in the dungeon suite. Come and get it. Okay, you're allowed to call that character a gentleman if you want, I guess. <laughs> That was easy. Why did you have a key if you were gonna go and deliver the food? Doesn't, doesn't make sense. You don't need one. None of this makes any sense. The luminary. You're serious? So it's all happening just like the seer said it would. We'd better get out of here. Who are you? <laughs> I don't know your name. Huh? Wait here. He just... Okay. Don't worry, I didn't kill him. But he won't be waking up anytime soon. Alright. Things will get pretty hairy up ahead. You'd better take this. Takes the sword, I sure do. <sighs> oh, and I found this in a corner over there. I guess it's your stuff, right? His... Me? I got this little name? beauty back. So now I'm pretty much unstoppable. Oh, good for you. We better get out of here before any more of our tin headed friends come knocking. Hollow when you're ready to move out, okay? Alright, well, I guess we're ready to go. There's not much else in here. Unless we can search the guard, maybe? No, it doesn't look like it. That's the only way I can go. Is there a secret passage on this wall or something? Oh, I see. You dug a hole. I spend ages digging this hole, and you just happen to show up the day I finish it? Heck of a coincidence. Guess I really was meant to help you out. Just like the seer said. What's your name? Anyway, <laughs> there'll be time to talk about all that later. In you go. Who are you? Who am I talking to?
The sewers, huh? Well, there must be a way out somewhere. Lead the way. I got your back. Okay, who are you? <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Alrighty. I wonder if I can just check the uh, menu. No, no, you're not in my party yet, so. At least my class is Fugitive Luminary now and doesn't have a gender in it. That's an improvement. I don't have a map for some reason, that's weird. Huh. Uh oh. You lot, over here. Uh oh, spaghetti -o. Damn it. We better make ourselves scarce. Come on, this way. Uh, no. Follow me. that way. Okay, so there's a bit of a semi stealth mission here, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it's self mission. But I can actually buy them? Quoted Stranger Attacks. Another one bites the dust. If you say so. So it's, it is, I think, a stealth mission, but you may as well just fight them to get the experience. Follow my lead. I was trying to hit you from behind, but it didn't work. Let's do this. Yeah, that was pretty easy. That's not good. These guys don't give up, do they? No. Well, this isn't a very good break. Seriously? Bridge. I can see this little statue there, so we can pray. You okay? Looks like we shook the guards, at least. And that looks like a way out. Maybe our luck's about to change. Yay. I like this hooded stranger. They don't call me a dude. They don't really call me anything. Oh, that's how you switch to 2D mode. Creates a new adventure log? You have to play the whole game again? Or does it just mean it like it saves again?
Yeah, alright, I guess I'll keep going. Okay, you have to actually save at those little statue thingies. I didn't realise that. I think the game auto-saves, so I'm not sure that's actually necessary. Uh, that's not good. That's a dragon. Wait! There's something there! It's a dragon. Fight, we're dead. Let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Too soon. Come on, quickly. This scripted sequence is not very interesting. battle. Oh my god. So if you get into a battle with any of these enemies, the dragon is there too? Okay. Um, that just on, reset the quickly. sequence? Oh my god. This is terrible. I, I hate this. Way too close for comfort. What's that thing doing under the castle anyway? Well, whatever. We should get going. Yeah. Let's go. dead because of convection, so... <laughs> we made it. Just... I don't know how much more of this I can take. Huh? Huh? There he is! Dark spawn. Oh, I hate you. Ah, uh, me and my big mouth. Move now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it will have looked really awful. <sighs> Looks like our luck finally ran out. Yeah, this isn't an ideal place to be. There they are. We've got them now. <gasps> hmm. No way back, huh? If they catch us, we're dead meat. <laughs> Hold! <laughs> Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the luminary. I don't have much choice. We gotta fight them. Or? Come on. Let's not do anything stupid now. Oh, nice hair. The name's Eric, by the way. Hi, Eric. <laughs> Well, we're gonna die. That's completely deadly. I think that's the end of the demo. I guess that makes sense. Maybe not though? Maybe it's still going. I feel like this is some sort of cutscene to wrap up the demo, but maybe not. Actually, this played at the beginning, didn't it? Same cutscene? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Can I skip it this time, or...? Yes. Scribbledy dibbledy. Escaping with Eric. So, is that the whole demo, or...? I don't know. Wake up, lazy bones. No, it's still going. Come on! Up you get! I'm alive? Alright. Finally! I was worried we'd lost you for a minute there. You've been out cold ever since we jumped. Had to drag you all the way here on my own. But what a jump it was. I closed my eyes, put my faith in the luminary, and somehow didn't get smashed into a thousand pieces. That's impressive. In fact, I woke up on the forest floor at the bottom of the cliff without a scratch on me. Amazing what a little faith can do. Anyway, I guess you and me must be at the top of the King of Heliodor's most wanted list by now. Which means we can't hang around here too long. Let's go say thanks to the nun who looked after us and be on our way. Okay, so the demo is still going. Let's break all this nun's pots as a thank you. I trust that your friend here is fully recovered. Oh, don't worry about him. He's him. just fine. Eric, I don't like hey, you Thanks anymore. for looking out for us. We owe you one. Not at all, dear. I'm just happy to see you both well again. But if you are leaving, you must be careful on the road. Yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here, I think. It seems some the demo dangerous is still going. criminals have escaped from the capital and are at large somewhere in the area. Oh, I shudder to think what wicked deeds they might be capable of. Criminals, you say? Dear me, that doesn't sound good. And you heard this when you were in Heliodor. I did indeed, my child. There were guards everywhere. They are searching high and low for the villains. And I heard that the mighty knight Sir Hendrik himself has headed to the mountains in the south with his troops. Okay. They say he means to block the road to Cobblestone, 
the village the fugitives came from. Okay. <laughs> oh, but you must forgive me, poor lambs. I did not mean to alarm you. They will soon be caught, I am sure. Justice will be done. And until then, you are free to remain with us for as long as you please. Thanks. We appreciate that. So, do they not know what the fugitives look like? Um, we're, we're not disguised or anything. We're going to get a little fresh air. We have a few things to discuss, right? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna... Wait, I'm confessing to her exact all I've done, then she'll know exactly who I am. Right? Hmm... <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm just gonna call it here for the moment. It looks like the demo is longer than I expected, again. I don't know how long it actually is. I'll probably play to the end of it off-camera, but... I don't think I want this game, it's just... <sighs> Between the, the the whole gender thing just, just not being good, and the lack of like character customization compared to DQB, and I, I guess the, the actual RPG mechanics are okay, it's just... <sighs> hmm... Yeah... I'm just not impressed. Which is sad, because this game was incredibly impressive, and this one, not so much. Hmm... Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up here, and I'm gonna go to bed, and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um... Yeah, I'm... Yeah. I'm sad. I was hoping this game would be as, like, as impressive and as fun as this one, but so far it's just not... I'll give it, I'll give it some more time off camera to see if it gets better, but... Ugh. I got complaints and I got problems with this game. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye!